Coach, a big win tonight here at the Carter Center. You take down number one, West Liberty, and even though you win by 15 points, it felt like down the stretch you guys really controlled the game. You made free throws down the stretch, nine of nine at the free throw line in the final, I think it was 318 of the game. What went into this win tonight after that hard loss Saturday? <clears throat> yeah, we, our, our guys showed a whole lot of resiliency, like you said, to, to have a hard loss on Saturday and have one day in between, and, and this team coming to the Carter Center. Um, showed a lot of resiliency from our team. We, we really showed our character and really proud of down the stretch, like you just said, making the right plays. Because we've had some games where we haven't made the right plays at Shepard, uh, necessarily at Wesleyan. Uh, we made some bad plays to give some, play, some games away. And, um, you know, we're learning from our mistakes. I thought a big key tonight w was how physical mm -hmm. you played with them. Obviously, you said last week that West Liberty was going to be a physical team. Right. You was physical with them, and I thought a big key was Meech being really physical with Bonifant right. early on. He took the ball at him, made him really defend. How big was that getting Bonifant in foul oh, trouble early? Huge. And, I mean, you t National Player of the Year and first team All American that you get two quick fouls on, and uh, it changes their game plan. And then he comes back in and gets his third. Um, you know, that's a good break for us. Just like, you know, you look when we played Wheeling and Terry Hopewell plays 18 minutes. When you have a guy, one of your guys you're counting on that, that, that's saddled by foul trouble, it changes what you have to do as a coach. And, and uh, you know, give a lot of credit to Meech because he, he attacked him, he made him defend. And, and uh, uh, I thought we did a good job getting him in foul trouble. When you look early at, at all the fouls they had in the first half, they were all on their interior guys. So that tells you where we were trying to play the game. And Coach Rob finishes with yeah. 36 tonight. And there were some threes. I mean, he pulled up from 25 feet mm -hmm. in transition. How fun is it to watch Rob whenever he gets that 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 stroke going of his? It's, it's so it's, it's fun easy. To watch. It makes it job, makes my job easy. And, and Coach May looked at me after uh, I think he hit a second one and said gave me a play to run, and I turned around to him and said, I don't, I don't think it matters what we run for him. But one thing I want to give uh, Rob credit for is that's the first time when he hit those hot streaks that he still came down and relaxed and knew his teammates were going to get him the ball in good scoring areas and then let him make a play. I mean, in previous games when he's hit those spots, he's taken some really, really hard shots as his heat check shot. So he's showing maturity and showing some, some growth, even though he's a senior, still, still room to grow. And trusting that his teammates are going to get the ball back to him because he got hot and he made a really nice – dump pass to Terry, I think, for a layup or a dunk. And, um, you know, that shows progression on his part, too. How big was it tonight that every time it seemed like West Liberty, especially in that second half, you guys got that lead there in the second half, how, how big was it each time West Liberty made a run, you guys answered with either Rob three or, or maybe a Meech layup it's, or a Terry dunk? It's huge because I think a lot because where we were scoring. Yeah, Rob was hitting threes, but, but we passed the ball so well. Our point guards combined for zero turnovers against a team that wants to press us. And, um, it's big about where how we played the game. We we knew we had to be the aggressor. We knew we had to try to turn their press into points um, because they are a really good team. But uh, you know the way those guys played, we, we played really well tonight, and proud of them. It's a good win, and hopefully it's something we can build on. But we got to know it's not an end result. Well, last question here: You guys get UVA wise, who mm -hmm. they're struggling a little bit. Right. But, but how do you maintain focus and get that win before you get three in a row yeah, here at home? You're going to wise, and and the thing you can tell your team is wise beat uh, a nationally ranked team as well. They beat King College about a month ago, not even a month ago. Um, so they're capable. They made, I think, 17 threes in that game. Yeah, I know they're struggling, but it's not indicative of, of their ability to beat you. Because um, we went down there last year and necessarily didn't play well, and we were in a dogfight the last game of the season. So hopefully, and, and I think these guys will be focused, and you know, that they enjoyed the win, but they also know that this is not the end result. This is not February, March, that we still got some, some things we got to work on. A, a tough emotional loss on Saturday against a nationally ranked team. You guys coming here, and you know, it's a back and forth game. You guys made a run, they made a run. You guys make another run, they made a run. You guys ultimately had that big run there in the second half. But back to the team's mindset after Saturday's loss we went to tonight. Um, it was all about responding. You know, we watched them, we had to suck it up and uh, look, our, look each other in the eyes, look ourselves in the eyes and know that down the stretch, things are going to get tough. We just got to put it together and win. And tonight, I mean, we responded well. You had a couple of, uh, of runs yourself there where you just seemed to, I mean, I assume the basket looked as big as the ocean. Yeah, I mean, it was a good feeling. Uh, I mean, I just got hot and just put, just put them up there and they were fine. Thank God. Mm -hmm. And then, Rob, I'm sure that you're, you're uh, number one on everyone's game plan on, you know, who, who to really key in on. And how do you respond by, you know, by stepping up and, and and, and making a shot you did tonight? Um, just not being passive when I do get the looks. Being aggressive knowing that even if I don't get a look, I'll get something from my teammates. Just making like selfish plays on in and off the ball with and without the ball. It's just just making everybody around me better. So it's not more I'm focused on myself scoring or whatnot. I just focus on playing the game the right way and I know where to come to.
What's this do for the team mentally? A little bit of a, a, a dip there, record-wise, the last eight, ten games. What's this do for the team mentally and both physically going forward? Um, it's definitely a, a boost mentally and physically. When you knock off the number one team in the nation, obviously you're about to rise and feel better about the team morale. But it's just letting us know what we're capable of. Coach told us yesterday we were on the cusp of being a great team. We haven't arrived just because we beat this team. We're just going to keep working and take this, you know what I'm saying, be able to look at this when times get tough and be able to move forward and hopefully just win the conference. A loss on, on Saturday, you, you played your guts out and you guys have to turn around less than, or I guess a little more than 48 hours later and try to play the number one team in the nation, get it done tonight. What was the team's mindset though after Saturday's loss? <clears throat> Our mindset was stop shooting ourselves in the foot. Uh, we can't uh, basically stop playing defense to that team get down the lane. We can't keep turning the ball over and over and over in the second half. And we got to keep continue to be aggressive on offense and uh, cut hard, screen hard. But mainly we just got to stop shooting ourselves in the foot, stop beating ourselves. We did that too many times this year. I mean, a couple of things that maybe I noticed tonight, at least when you just look at the box where you're watching the film and you realize it, but you was, you was tasked with guarding the, the top scorer in the nation tonight. What kind of what kind of mindset did you have to have to try to guard Sigurd Bonifant tonight? Uh, my mindset was not to let him get any open shots, because that's what he's best at. He's shooting 15% from three and 60% overall, so I just try to stay in front of him and get tough on him. Try to make him beat me off and dribble so that he can catch and shoot. And, and Meech, uh, something else that will go kind of unnoticed to the casual fan is you're charged with taking the ball out of bounds each time and handling West Liberty's press and, and being kind of a secondary ball handler to get the ball across half court. What goes into you making those decisions against West Liberty's press? Uh, it's just, it really depends on uh, how many people they have up front. Usually they have, we, uh, they have just one person, they have one person on the ball and one person guarding the point guard. And once that person on the ball goes to trap, I just run through because I'm the open man. So they pass it to me. If someone's in front of me, I pass opposite. If no one's in front of me, I can dribble up the court and I make until somebody stops me, I make the pass. Meet your last question for you. What's this do for the team, for you and the team going going forward and you prepare for a road game here Thursday, but then you have three more in a row back here at the Carter Center? Well, it, gives us, it gives us a lot of confidence, especially since we've been uh, dropping a lot of games lately. A lot of ones late in the second half. Just give us a lot of confidence and let us know that we, you know, we are a good team. We chill. We, <clears throat> we are forced to be reckoned with. But we can't, we can't, we can't, uh, we can't get too high on this. You know, it's a good, it's a good win and stuff. But we still gotta stay humble, stay hungry because we have, we have achievement. We, have, we got bigger goals than just beating everyone in the nation.